So wait a minute, you're starting a new Let's Play? What's up with this crap? What? You're starting a new Let's Play? I thought you were only going to do one at a time. No, 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 my friend. Diddy Kong Racing. It's time for you to shine, buddy! Okay, anyway. Um, this is being reported off of Project 64 using the full version of Fraps. Um, yeah, I did use a... F Capture card's not working just yet, but I can fix that. Of course I can fix that, you know what I'm saying? It should be too hard. Who are you kidding? You don't even have the computer that can set it up. Don't have you. No, you don't. Anyway, I'm just going to show you the initial scene. You know what? Just listen. One of my all-time favorite intro themes. I love it so much. Anyway, let's get Banjo and let's get going. Um, yeah. Huh, conveniency. These are my initials, people. Guess my name, and I will give you a prize. And here's the opening cutscene. Um, just to let you guys know, since I had to do the full version of Fratch, which means I can record pretty much infinitely, infinite, that infinitely until my hard drive is going to go ahead and say no more space left. Um, yeah, just a second, be right back. Anyway, there's the creepy pedophile elephant that's creepy and a pedophile. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's totally not suspicious at all. Anyway, three minutes into the video, and I haven't even shown you how shown you any gameplay. Anyway, Z honks your horn slash fires whatever item you're holding. Um, A is to accelerate, B is to break, and uh, forget it. R is to do what I'm doing right now, which is doing a super fast turn. But if you're in a car, it means a drift. If you're in a hovercraft or a plane, it's a faster turn. In a car, it's a drift. And look at me doing my barrel rolls. Yeah, baby, barrel roll to the max. Anyway, I'm just gonna get the four uh, balloons that are <laughs> slower than that. I mean, the four balloons. Failing while doing it. I'm gonna get the four balloons that are surrounding. The four initial balloons that are in the island that you don't have to like, do. Where are you fit? Oh my god. Where are you go, buddy? You failed so hard, buddy. Getting the four initial balloons that you don't have to race for. Doing some more barrel rolls. That little sign there is for trophy races. That's important for later on in the game. And I love doing my barrel rolls. <laughs> Do a barrel roll! Let's enter Dino Domain on the first racetrack, shall we? Which is Ancient Lake, which only needs one balloon to enter, which would be the one you would get, blah blah blah, normally what you would do. Yada do yada yada. First race in, in 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Unfortunately, yeah, there's a startup. If you press A before, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention about the key. These keys open up battle battle modes, which are different from races, and those allow you to get, uh, oh, the TT amulet. The TT amulet, which is useful later on in the game, everything will fall into place. You just need to get these things for now. 
take your finger off the accelerator before you hit one of those uh, zippers and or fire a boost balloon, which I just did right there, you'll get an extra speed boost. It'll turn green half the time. I, I, I missed it right there, but... Yeah, that's normal. Oh yeah, if you're in a car, you can press... Break and drift at the same time, and it'll do that little uh, trick that I did there. Let me try and show you it. I'm gonna find a simple fake place to show you that again. Right there. And I'm gonna lap somebody before I finish the race. Which is a lol 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 lol, because it's just that easy. And of course, you can't skip the initial cutscenes, but you've seen, you have to see them at least once before you can skip them, so that's why I don't like about this game. That's one thing. It's like, hello there! Pedophile. Pedophile. Oh yeah, what was I going to say beforehand? Anyway, since I can record until my... Here's the... Yeah. I'm going to interrupt it by myself. Here's the little cutscene it says. As soon as you get the key, it opens up. It opens up the battle door as you go in to get the TTM. You have to complete the battle mode. Whatever. Let's hunt over to um, Jungle Fall, shall we? Anyway, since I can record infinitely, I'll pretty much go until I either stop or have to stop. Due to either my parents saying I have to get off or whatnot, or bedtime. I don't know. It's, it's cool. I'm just going this at night like an idiot, and yeah. Oh yeah, I should, should tell you the balloons and everything. Uh, bananas increase your speed. Green balloons give you drop items, which are the balloons. Balloons, landmines, or bubbles. Red ones are missiles, which will give you a one missile, a homing missile, or ten non-homing missiles. The ones with stars on them are shields. Uh, the rainbow colored ones are magnets, and those are basically all of it, and I am actually dominating. <laughs> I just find it so hilarious how bad this game can be. That's why I chose Banjo, because he's terrible in the cart, and that's supposed to give me an advantage. And that gives me a lesson, that gives, it's supposed to give me a lesson advantage, and I'm still destroying <laughs> have two people once again this is too easy i'm recording this at like 10 o'clock ish so yeah I'm supposed to be in bed and be ready for school tomorrow but whatever don't worry i'll get metro prime running don't worry okay what am i saying here buddy what am i saying i don't know what i'm saying I'm saying you're recording this before you Star Fox 64 is done, and you're just thinking about putting this before, uh, what's its face? Yeah, you're recording everything in previous, so you have everything set up for the next few times. What is wrong with you? Get your facts straight. Work on what you have to do right now before you finish it off. Green. Yeah. There's an example of green. Another. Ooh. Ooh. Each balloon's different. I'll probably show you how each balloon works. I probably won't show you the extent of most of the balloons because I know they just go for red blue balloons and increase the speed. Yeah, no. Now that was the weirdest thing I have ever seen happen to me in my life. What the heck? Ugh. Down domain is the easiest. Dude, there's just no challenge with this. I'm not even joking, no challenge. Uh, I'm basically doing it like kind of like I did with the first four parts of Star Fox 64. Dude, you don't even have your capture card yet. You do have your capture card, what are you saying? You don't have the computer yet, so you can't. Yada 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 yada. Are gonna record Metro Prime with that capture card, and you're gonna kill yourself. Got it? Get your facts straight, buddy. Holy crap! Yeah. Now you won another race. How would you head over to the final race course? There's four race courses in the race course. Yeah. There's four race courses in each area you go into. 
afterwards, which is, and after you beat all of them, which I'll show you afterwards, something happens. You probably know because, again, this is a proper game with kids at my age. The only reason I'm really close playing this game is, well, there's actually just no reason. I'd like to say the same reason, there's multiple reasons. And, uh, the main one is, this is the first 3D game I beat by myself with absolutely no help from anybody else, so it's just all me. Speaking of which, I'm the only one in my family who's actually done that because nobody's had the patience with this game or had the actual enjoyment level that I have with it, even if I am dominating everybody. I just laugh at how hard I dominate them on adventure mode. And uh, as soon as I do complete adventure mode, I will go to uh, Adventure 2 to so make it prolonged, you know, try and fit it in whatever Let's Play up I'll do this with, probably Metro Prime, who knows. You know what? I've actually lapped the entire. I've actually lapped everybody in this map. That's how broken this map is. I've lapped everybody before. I probably could have done. You know what? Yeah, I probably could have done it here if I hadn't screwed up in a couple places. If I did screw up or whatnot. I don't know. I'll just with a couple more balloons and, uh. Wait, I'm moving by myself. What's this? Hey, epic music. What's up with this? Yeah. I'm really bad at being sarcastic, aren't I? Oh my god! Whoa, the Triceratops talk. What the heck? Let's do this, shall we? Oh, what the heck? I always used to call this guy Cheater as a kid, but it's really not tricky. He's an idiot. That's what you get for being an idiot and cheating by getting a head start. Lol, you fail. <laughs> Put your voice up to the microphone so I'm hearing you. But you can't because your bro just went to bed, and therefore you can't be too loud otherwise you'll be good job. Anyway, this is one of the uh, four boss races. Well, there's six boss races actually. Stupid tree. But there's six boss races, and this is one of them. And this is um, one of three point A to point B races of the bosses. The other ones are laps. Actually, there's only two, sorry. My mistake. But anyway, having to do this on a PC is very difficult because you can't just go slight turning, you have to go either all in or nothing. But either way, it's a pretty simple race because adventure mode is easy as crap. Yeah, this is the surprise afterwards. You face the boss, you win, and then he's like, Oh, go collect the silver coins. I'm gonna win the race, and then come back to see him. He's gonna be so... Oh, no! Run away, pedophile! No. Well, anyway, let's go face over the... battle scenario, shall we? Now in this battle mode, you have to pick up, pick up eggs, take them back to your uh, hatching pad, drop them with Z as you would fire your item, and you have to make them hatch. Like your good old dinosaur mother. That's Dino Domain Logistics FD Law L. <laughs> this one's actually pretty stupid. Um, it's a little too easy actually. I don't ever lose, that's the thing. Well, I do lose, but what the heck? Stop stealing my eggs. 